You say you got a game at six or on the sixth? On the sixth. On the sixth. So, okay. yeah. yeah, we're right. good. <clears throat> okay, we'll call the meeting to order at 529. Roll call. Mrs. Bond? Here. Mrs. Duff? Here. Mrs. Gay? Here. Mr. Rodehaver? Mrs. Harlow? Here. Someone will make a motion to excuse Dave? I'll make a motion to excuse Dave. All in favor? Yes. Right. Okay. okay. Have you had a chance to look at the last minutes of the tree board? Any corrections or changes? Mm -mm. Nope. Hearing none, we'll approve as submitted. And we'll get to business. All right, so if you looked at your packets, there were um, some documents in there that just talked about um, some of the conditions of the, uh, like, peat fall colors, when to look mm -hmm. for them, and those kind of things. Uh, I will say on my way back from Tennessee, 75 was Gorgeous. pretty sweet. Yeah, bad. The colors were pretty vibrant until you got to about middle of Kentucky, and then they kind of, I don't know, they weren't as pretty. Tennessee huh. was, Tennessee to mid Kentucky was beautiful as soon as we got on the highway. So, um, seen some of it around here. I don't know if you've been up to Deer Meadow, the, yeah. the condition, the trees up there look beautiful, um, but they're falling pretty quick. So, that won't last too, too long. Um, but it's just uh, some, some idea or some things to, tips to look at. Um, and then uh, B, planning specification, specifications. It's just kind of how to, um, what to do to plant trees, how to plant them, like the correct way to do it. Hmm. Um, just, just some ideas. Of I don't think we did ours right. How to do it? Yeah, you guys have all well, you two have planted some that we yeah. put in. So, um, but really, other than that, I don't. We don't have much for the tree board unless you guys have any questions or anything yes. to talk about. Huh. I'm still waiting on the city mines to pick the leaves up that have been in front of my house for two weeks, three weeks. Can we put them out front now? You guys can. Yeah. We can? Oh, yeah. yeah. They're doing it now. I think they got two new uh, sweeper or leaf Separate. trucks or something. Unless they had to send them back because they weren't built properly. I don't know. There's something like that. But they do have a new machine that is all remote control. They don't have to, you don't have to have a guy sitting there walking with it, doing it the whole time. Like, yeah, I, I don't know how much that'll work. I I'd rather be out doing it, I guess. Than... My grandson in law spent three hours on his roof cleaning the gutters. gutters. I got gutter guards. And it's completely full today. I believe it. I, the gutters are bad. I don't uh, do gutters. They've got huge. Huge trees, mm -hmm. probably about. Yeah, eight, leaf guard. Eight of them, yeah, exactly. oak yeah, trees. Right. Oh, ah, that's what I got. I got six oak trees that are seventy-five feet tall. Oh, mm. these are too. Oh, these are these are huge. Mm -hmm. The acorns are. Oh, oh walnuts. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you step on the little ones and stuff. Oof. Oh, you're ready to kill somebody. <laughs> I tell you, I've already cleaned up walnuts two times yeah. today, mm -hmm. and it's still. Yeah. I, I didn't them. think the trash bin would take yeah. my trash. I just dump them in there. So black walnut. So I have one in my backyard too. So I got the left side's oak trees, the right side's a walnut, oh. and I bet it drops seven hundred and fifty or more thousand walnuts. Thousands, yeah, thousands. Too. So what I do, I have a trash can out there, and I literally take all of them and throw them in the trash can. And by the winter time, or when it gets full, because I got that many, I just throw them around the base, and by the time spring comes, they're all gone. Every one of them. Oh, squirrels. I don't have to do it. I just literally throw them in a trash can, and they, they just make, devour them. They make a mess, those they squirrels do. do. They do. But it's... It's still... It's, I don't have to worry about putting them somewhere or doing it. They literally do it all. Well, I, I watch it every Friday when the trash man comes. Please, take them, please. <laughs> And it's all they can do is to push it. And it's, I mean, you know, the 96 gallon or whatever. Oh, yeah. There's that many mm -hmm. in it. I even use my neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> I've never, never yeah. seen I did, I started doing that like two, three years ago. And I just, that's how I do it. And they're, they're gone. I don't, that's great. Yeah, I don't have to deal with any of it. They take them other yards and I don't know what they do. Because, <laughs> like, you know, the remnants of it, because they're, 
the inside's black dot. Did you leave it open? Yeah, I just throw. I have a trash can, and I just I actually try to throw them in, trying to hone, hone some skills, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, we make a game with peers at the house. Yeah. Who can get it over the, <laughs> yeah. the wall? I've seen like a roller. Th is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. I let my neighbor use it today. Did you? Yep. I used it all. I could bend over. Oh, yeah. I, and mine's on a hill. So mine fall and roll down this hill. So they actually kind of trap into a little area for me. So it's kind of, <laughs> I got lucky on that one. But. So water doesn't get in your trash can or you put Oh, I don't, in I don't care for that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's an old trash can. I'm it's it, It's just for that. I literally put it on the corner of my house just for that. And at least I leave it there all winter. That's a great or idea. Yeah. I and then I filled one of those up probably about four times on that. Oh, I, I, so I filled it up. It's a, it's been overflowing, uh, and then I've been throwing it at the base. But the squirrels have already taken off the top, so I, they're already eating them now. Wow. Yeah. You've got them do. trained. I do. Yeah. <laughs> they love me. <laughs> the squirrels love me. Uh, but the problem with my walnut tree is it's right over my bedroom. So in the middle of the night, Wham. <laughs> it's just like thunder coming down on my roof. But we're used to it now. At first, I didn't know what it was, but now I'm good. I'm afraid they're going to hit me on the head. Yeah, I when dig, I'm out there. Dig a cluster of them, they could. I'm supposed to wear a hard hat. But they drop those long. And the curly cute Yes. Things. And they get, that's what messes your, if it's above your, your house, your gutters get clogged by those things. Yeah. The walnuts get in there, but these things may intertwine, and they're they they bunch up like a dam almost. They're the messiest yeah, tree. They are, but they're beautiful. Plus, they're cute. Those curly things in yep. the spring. Yep. I know. And they're all over your yeah. yard. Yep. Yeah. I love trees, but man, they're, they're messy. I'd be fine if somebody cut that sucker down. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, I'm to the birds where I I'd love to have them cut down. I. If you got, from what I've heard, if you got black walnut trees, somebody will pay you to come get it. Yeah. Because they want the wood. It's super good wood. Well, and yeah. we have one of those, what's it called, a big round thing that they say is worth a, a burl. lot. A burl. Oh. Yeah. I think there's two of them on the really? tree. Hmm. I don't know what. Yeah, people love that walnut because then they make desktops or they make countertops and stuff out of them. But... Butcher boards, charcuterie boards. Actually, I didn't tell you. Well, we're on. I'll tell you after this, but we're doing a charcuterie board thing, too. Oh, we're still going. Yeah, on. we're going. But we're good. I'm done. I don't know if, unless you have anything. Any questions, anyone? Okay. This information is very nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. We'll adjourn at 537. Oh, okay. When it comes to the up there on the hill of the workplace, and we're all